The subject is echoed in Lost Journey, where the sea is the undulating prairie, and the vessel is the wagon, the prairie schooner. In both works, the question quickly arises, what has become of the humans who inhabited these forms? One has the sense that the answer to such questions is, in the end, of relative importance. Humanity is but a conscious witness to the greater forces of time and nature, a temporary participant, for better or worse, in the greater pattern. There seems to be a graceful reminder here that man, and nature too, will greatly benefit by our becoming conscious of and honoring the need for balance in this relationship. Is this perhaps the hidden secret held within the trunk in the painting Lost Journey? The painting, entitled The Holy Grail, is a compound image, a vessel within a vessel within an even greater vessel. The subject of the work is a bucket that is being drawn from a dark subterranean well. In innumerable myths and fairy tales, the well is the gate to the underworld, the domain of the primordial womb of life. So it appears that what is being drawn from this well is not simply water, but a goblet containing a supernatural light emanating from its center. At its most obvious level, the bucket itself might be seen as a symbol for neglected human intentions. Someone is attempting to draw sustenance from the well, apparently without considering the futility of their actions, given the neglected state of the bucket. Logically, drawing water with a leaky bucket is an irrational act. But astonishing good fortune is honoring the gesture of faith. At this level, the painting is depicting an act of providence and, as such, is a statement of faith that, in spite of himself, man is protected and provided for by benevolent, intangible forces. But the question arises, will the goblet still be there once the bucket reaches the surface? Simple logic would answer yes. The potential is there if one is interpreting literally. But the reason the artist places the goblet under the water is to imply that the image is somehow a property of the water itself. Hence, if the water drains from the vessel as it's raised, there will be no goblet. This version of visual refraction, the apparition effect, is meant to imply a clear distinction between matter and spirit, corporal and ideal, which, of course, invalidates the literal interpretation. Interpreting at the deepest level, the well is the vast, unlimited reservoir of the unconscious. The water itself is a symbol of the contents of the unconscious, a medium for the transmission of meaning. The bucket represents the effort it takes to draw out the contents, and the goblet the grail, is the symbol for the greater intellect, that is, intuitive cognition, which tries to grip the light. One tries to understand, but finite conscious intellect alone cannot completely grasp the full meaning of true, absolute knowledge, a dynamic property of spiritual energy. From the artist's standpoint, all energy is spirit, so here, in this compound image, is both problem and solution in one unassuming frame. 